happy morning children welcome to blue stars high secondary school online classes today we have a class for 10th okay and we are going to see the supplementary part of the unit 5 okay so today's uh, i mean unit is unit 5 we have already completed the prose and poem part in unit 5 okay so today we are going to see the supplementary so what is the name of the supplementary a day in 2889 okay so what year we are in now 2020 okay so this is a day in 2889 of an american journalist okay this is the title of the lesson so this lesson is written by jules verne i mean uh, he was a french poet he was a playwright and novelist okay so he has many futuristic adventure novels so he has written many things about the future uh, how the future will be how the technology will be in the future okay so he has been called as the father of science fiction and has an incalculable influence on the photo telegrams and a telegraphic development of science fiction writing okay so more interesting perhaps is his place as a prophet well, who is a prophet the one who tells about the future okay or predictor of technology which wasn't to be invented until long after his death so he was died in 1905 okay so he has written this uh, lesson in 1889 understood so almost uh, i mean 100 years after 100 years after a century what are the new things the world will see okay that is what his idea is about in this poem and uh, here they have just written about many skyscrapers television what is skyscrapers skyscrapers are the tall buildings understood so just see here television is already we have achieved this skyscrapers we are uh, we have a lot of skyscrapers nowadays and maglev trains maglev trains or the trains which go on the underground trains okay computers and a culture preoccupied with the internet that is what we are living in actually this uh, author has predicted this by 2889 okay but we have achieved many of this by 2020 itself already this generation is completely preoccupied with internet only isn't it and television we have skyscrapers computers everything but just imagine this is written in the 18th century okay so just uh, i mean uh, we may feel that it is not a big deal but in those days it was really a big thing okay so that is why he was treated as a prophet the one who tells about the future understood so now let us see some of the glossary parts so commutators commutators means switch for reversing the direction of a electric current okay pneumatic pneumatic is of or relating to or using a air okay shod shod is wearing foot gear so shod i mean in old english this is uh, treated as uh, past tense for shoes okay shoe shod shoe is to wear isn't it so wearing foot gear that is shod stella stella is uh, always something related to stars solitude solitude is like single being alone okay threshold threshold is a strip of wood or a stone forming the bottom of a doorway like a platform small platform like thing that is a threshold centropolis it is a new name for new york in 2889 year okay in the year of 2889 centropolis is the new name for new york where is new york in us isn't it champ elysis champ elysis it is a famous uh, mall okay it is in the france inhabitants is a people who are living in a particular place they're called inhabitants okay jovians jovians also an inhabitant of jupiter it is just an imaginary only okay so the in the people who are living in jupiter are called jovians in this lesson phono telephote phono telephote is a means of transmitting and receiving both voice and picture for a personal conversation okay so phono telephote this is what we use in our whatsapp and all isn't it we use a 
we receive a voice as well as the picture video call we used to do right yeah so that is what he was telling it as phono telephoto in that uh, 1863 year phono photo telegrams photo telegrams this tele a telegraphic transmission including images this is also the similar thing only valet valet a man's personal mail attendant who is responsible for his clothes and appearance so what is this valet the one who helps a man to dress himself up okay so they are called as a valet but now this uh, valet this word is used when we go for parking in the shopping malls and all you will you can just see a person who is coming and asking for your bike key or car key so that he will go and park it okay they are called as a valet okay so i hope you understand this uh, glossary so now let's uh, see about what are the characters in this lesson okay so this is a day in 2889 of an american journalist author is jules verne the theme is the future in the hands of technology okay so what are the characters you see francis bennett okay francis bennett is a he belongs i mean he is a main character in the story okay he is the author of a journalist okay earth's heralds okay a journalist and he is the chief person of that edith and then cash corley the second inventor the arrow coachman so these are the characters you will come across in this lesson now let's get into the lesson a day in 2889 of an american journalist okay so this story speaks about the people who live in the 29th century understood not now when 29th century who live in a fairy land so what is a fairy land It's full of magic right so so fit it as they are with marvels they are indifferent to the presence of each new marvel to them all seem natural the meaning of this is so the people who are living in this century okay 2889th year to them they actually live in a fairy land they live in a magic world but though we think it is a magic world the people who are living there does not feel any difference at all to them everything seems normal isn't it so it's just like we i mean our grandfathers and if we have a grandfathers and great grandfathers at home they may feel isn't it to see the whatsapp and everything is in hands now they may thought this all all whether possible or not okay they have the doubt but it is made possible because of the technology we had now yes or no yes so just like that the people but we don't feel that it is uh, it, it is a very different thing because we are all used to it isn't it so we don't feel the importance of it we don't uh, feel that it is very difficult one it's very easy i mean go in hand but our uh, grandfathers and uh, grandmothers if you have some elderly people at home they feel it very tough to handle this technology isn't it and uh, to them everything seems very different isn't it that is what they are telling so the people in this century to them even the new things okay new, even the difficult things everything seems to be very natural only so this year is 2889 okay the date is 25th july and where is this happening in the place of the office block of managing editor of earth herald the world's largest newspaper okay so what is the managing editor name he is a francis bennett we have seen the characters right so in this futuristic story written in 1889 the writer describes how he visualizes a world a thousand years later a world of technological advancements where newspapers are not printed but spoken so what is the meaning of this so newspapers are not printed but spoken he is just telling about the televisions isn't it now they are just reading the news yes or no ah yes so this is the newspapers are not printed in those days they used to get only the newspapers in the printed form even now we are getting that but in addition to this we have the televisions also where the news is all spoken okay they are just speaking the news they're telling the news in the television this is what he was telling so they are technologically advancement just imagine and again and again i'm telling you imagine that you are in the 1889th year only then 
we could feel the difference which is made because we have already crossed all those things so this might seem is very uh, silly but the person who is in 1889 is imagining this thing that these differences will happen in 2889 okay but already we have achieved many of that so see here okay so world of technologically advancement where newspapers are not printed but spoken understood so now read the following excerpt for a glimpse of this futuristic world so that morning francis bennett were awoke in a rather bad temper this was eight days since his wife had been in france and he was feeling a little lonely as soon as he awoke francis bennett switched on his phone phone or telephone whose wires led to the house he owned in the champ elizes the telephone completed by the telephone is another of our times conquest though the transmission of speech by the electric current was already very old it was only since yesterday that vision could also be transmitted a valuable discovery and francis bennett was by no means the one to bless its inventor when in spite of norman's distance between them he saw his wife appear in the telephone mirror francis dear francis so what is this he says one morning so he is francis bennett okay he is just waking up in a very bad mood okay he was in a very bad mood why because so before eight days his wife has left for france okay and he is all alone in the house now so he is feeling very bad to be alone in the house okay and now once he just wake up he could not find his wife nearby you know so at least when you are waking up in the morning we need someone to at least give us coffee or something when nobody is there in the house how bad we feel isn't it similarly this man is also feeling very bad since his wife has left for france eight days before okay and he is also missing her a lot understood so now he is just switching on his phone or telephone this is called as phone or telephone you can just see the screen here okay so what is this phone or telephone and uh, this wires are leading to champelizes champelizes is a place in france isn't it so now this man is working in new york and uh, this man is speaking to the wife in france through this phone or telephone normally they used to make calls those days they say as trunk calls have you ever uh, heard about it yes trunk calls which means they will be like calling and through this electric wires they have to call just like a telephone only okay so this was normal okay this was olden one but only since yesterday they are telling okay when the day when he was speaking with the wife he is telling only since yesterday they have made this phone or telephone wherein they can even see the person okay and they can talk it feels like they are just talking directly in person understood so the vision can also be transmitted this invention was made only yesterday and this invention was very useful to francis bennett why because his wife is not there he is in france he has left 8 days before and now he could see the wife through the phone or telephone and he could talk with them okay and now it uh, this phone phone or telephone is just reducing the distance between these two people okay and the wife is telling francis dear francis okay his name spoken by the sweet voice gave a happier turn to francis bennett's mood he quickly jumped out of bed and went into his mechanist dressing room 2 minutes later without needing the help of a valet the machine deposited him washed him shaved shod dressed and buttoned from top to toe on the threshold of his office the day's work was going to begin Francis Bennett went on into the reporter's room his 1500 reporters placed before an equal number of telephones were passing on to subscribers the news which had come in during the night from the four quarters of earth in addition to his telephone each reporter has in front of him a series of commutators which allow him to get into communication with this and that telephone line thus the subscribers have not only the story but the sight of these events okay they are telling they are here what the, i mean now the francis uh, bennett is just speaking to the 
wife right that is what we have seen and now she uh, he is very happy to hear the wife's voice the wife is calling isn't it dear francis and now after hearing the sweet voice of the wife this uh, francis was I mean becoming very happy okay the mood is turned to very happy one and immediately he is just uh, jumping out of the bed and he started to get ready to the work okay so this is a mechanic's dressing room so normally I mean the rich people they will be having a wallet to, they will just uh, a person a wallet is a person who help in dressing up isn't it but in this century they don't need a wallet instead there is a mechanist person okay so this a mechanical thing is there and uh, once you get into the room this mechanical thing will just I mean help you in uh, it will just make you take bath shave dress okay shoes they will just show, put the shoes button and everything it will just do it for you so you can just see it is dressing them up wasn't it yeah so now the works the day's work is going to begin for francis bennett and francis bennett is going to the reporter's room because he is the chief editor of earth's herald a largest newspaper isn't it earth's largest newspaper so he, i mean he has 1500 okay 1500 what is 1500 yeah so almost 1500 reporters okay they are just play, placed in between before equal number of telephones so everyone is just telling about the reports from all the four corners of the earth okay what is four quarters of the earth from all the four corners of the earth okay so from all the directions the news has come and now the reporters are ready to read about the news okay and they are just saying the news since it is the invention of telephotic i mean uh, phono telephotic isn't it so even now they can just say the news as well as they can show the pictures also okay so simultaneously they are doing this this is what we say as television nowadays so francis bennett question one of the 10 astronomical reporters a service which was growing because of the recent discoveries in the stellar world well okay so now see here cash cash is the name of a reporter understood so francis bennett is just questioning one of the yeah reporter what is he asking so he's a astronomical reporter well cash what have you got photo telegrams from mercury venus and mars sir interesting and jupiter nothing so far we haven't been able to understand the signals the jovian make perhaps ours haven't reached them aren't you getting some results from the moon at any rate not yet mr bennett well this time you can't blame optical science the moon is 600 times nearer than mars and yet our correspondent service is in regular operation with mars it can't be telescopes we need so no it's the inhabitants corley replied so what is this so francis bennett is asking to the one of the reporter astronomical reporter the name is cash okay cash is the name of a astronomical reporter who is working in for francis bennett office and he is asking okay what are the new things okay what are the new discoveries in the stellar world so well cash what have you got so do you got any news so francis bennett is asking cash whether he has any news and cash is telling yes i have some photo telegrams from mercury venus and mars just see that technology has I mean uh, developed in such a way that we started to communicate with the people the inhabitants of different planets also okay so my cash is telling that we have some photo telegrams from mercury venus and mars and uh, francis is asking okay very interesting and what about jupiter did you get any information from jupiter and cash says nothing so far because i think maybe we could not able to understand the signals made by the jovians jovians is the inhabitant of the jupiter the people who are living in jupiter are called jovians okay and he says maybe some maybe our signal may not reach jupiter as well so we don't know what is the miss correspondence miss communication there okay so some miss communication is going on between jupiter and earth that is why we could not receive any signal from jupiter uh, aren't you i mean and uh, francis is asking whether they have anything any information from the moon 
and uh, now cash is selling we haven't got any information from the moon as well okay normally they used to blame the optical signs because i mean uh, the optical signs they will use this um, optical fibers right they will use the optical fibers they will just communicate using the optical fibers so this time uh, normally this is it is not possible we could not able to contact the moon everything they will say because and they will just blame the optical signs normally um, and now francis is telling you cannot blame the optical signs anymore because you are receiving signal from the mars venus everything which is almost 600 times nearer uh, sorry 600 times very farer than the moon isn't it for example if you just uh, say moon is 100 uh, kilometers okay or 100 light years from 100 light years from earth means mars earth mars jupiter and venus everything will be almost very distant isn't it more than 100 light years and here he says uh, you are receiving signals from mars which is 600 times with farer than the moon but why don't you get any signal from the moon okay why it is not possible to get any signals from the moon okay and uh, and it is telling the cash is telling um, it is a inhabitant because of the in the people who are living in the moon only we could not get any signals okay so now on the face it turns towards us at any rate mr bennett who knows whether on the other side so he's telling who cash is telling that maybe we could see i mean how is the moon moon is a three-dimensional figure only just like earth isn't it but which face we could see we could see only the front face of the moon okay and even recently we have just launched you know this uh, Chandrayaan 2, do you remember a recent launch from uh, India, isn't it? So Chandrayaan 2 was launched by ISRO to the other side of the moon, which is which we cannot see, isn't it? To just see whether what is happening in that other side of the moon. So just like that, the cash is also telling, you just see how uh, profit, that is why they told Jules Verne as a prophet. So he's just uh, predicting what are the things which is going to happen in the future, isn't it? So he's just telling on the face which is turning towards us, we do not know what is happening, okay? We could not get any signal from the face which is facing the earth, but we don't know about the other side of the moon, okay? So, well, there's a very simple method of finding out and that is to turn the moon round. Just see here. And that very day, the scientists of the Bennett factory started working out some mechanical means of turning our satellite right round. On the whole, Francis Bennett had reason to be satisfied. One of the Earth's heralds, astronomers, had just determined the element of the new planet Gandhini. So before that, so what is going on here? Yeah, they say they could not receive any signal from the moon, isn't it? From the face which is facing the Earth, which is towards the earth but they don't know about the other side of the moon what is happening they don't know so and they have a so solution for that also the astronomer said the only way to find out what is happening on the other side of the moon is we have to turn the moon round see how technologically improved you no know, how technologically improved vision they have to turn the moon round so moon is our earth satellite it's a natural satellite of earth that you know isn't it so now all the scientists of Bennett's factory, okay, so the, you can see the scientist who's just uh, sitting here and working. So all the scientists of Bennett's factory have started working on what? The mechanical means for turning the Earth satellite. What is that moon? They want to turn the moon round, okay. And now um, Francis Bennett has re reason to be satisfied. He wanted to be happy for what? One of the Earth's herald astronomers, they had just determined the element of a new planet called Gandhini. So they have just found out a new planet. Okay. What is the name? Gandhini. Okay. Where it is? It is at a distance of, see here, 12 trillion, 841 billion, 348 million 
and 284,623 meters and 7 decimeters. This is the location, okay, the distance from the earth. Could you see it's in trillions, okay? So such a distance it is and 7 decimeters that is this planet describes its orbit round the sun in 572 years, 194 days, 12 hours, 43 minutes, 9.8 seconds. So these are the information given by one of the astronomers in the Earth's Herald station. Understood? So just see here, he's just telling they have found out one more new planet Gandhini and they are just telling the location of the planet and how what is the time it is taking to yeah, revolve around the sun. Okay, how many days it is taking everything. So Francis Bennett was very much happy about this because they have found out a new planet. Understood? Good, he exclaimed. And uh, you could just see here what is they are having in front of them. <coughs> yes, so what we call this is a computer nowadays, but uh, what uh, Jules Verne was calling this, he was naming this as phono telephote. Understood? Okay, children, I hope you understand till this. Okay, so we are stopping here for today. So we'll continue the class in the next session. Okay, thank you children. Have a blessed day.